angular dimensioning through three points. So here I have three points. I have the end point of this line, and end point of this line, and the combination of the end point of these two lines. I can use the dim angler or the dim command to do this. I'm going to go up to dim angler, and in dim, dim angler it says to select arc, circle, or line, or specify the vertex. I'm going to specify the vertex. I'm going to hit enter to choose that option. Now I'm going to specify the angle vertex, so I'm going to pick here at the corner at these two endpoints, and then say pick the uh, first angle, I'll pick up here, and I'll pick the endpoint of the second angle, and I'll pick right here. I'm going to drag it out and place the dimension line location. I'm going to place it outside of the jaws of the angle. I click, and I just now uh, did angular dimensioning through three points, and the three points for the two endpoints and the vertex. Um, I could do that with the dim command as well. So I can go up and choose the dim command. And in this case, I'm going to choose angular. And I'm going to choose vertex. I'm going to pick on the vertex. I'll pick on the endpoint and the second endpoint. I place the dimension line location outside the jaws of the angle and I get 60 degrees. Here's another example. Here my vertex is the center of this uh, part and then my two points in which is the end points would be the center of these two holes and I end up with the angular dimensioning is in this case 72 degrees. So I'm going to go up to use the dim angular to command and then I'm going to specify the vertex by hitting enter. And I'm going to pick on the center point. And oh, I'm going to make sure that my center is turned on. It is. And there we go. I'm going to select the center. I'm going to come over and pick the center of this circle and the center of that circle. I'm going to pull it out and place the dimension line location outside of the jaws and there I end up with an angular dimension through three points as well. So just another example of that angular dimension using that uh, angular option in the dim command and the vertex option of the dim angular command.